Okay, look at Romans 12, 1. Here it is. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable, which is your reasonable service. So we, there's four different types of offerings, and we're an Ola offering. We're to not offer a part of ourselves to God. We're to offer all of ourselves to God. That's what would happen in the Ola offering with the beast. So we have to understand we are both priest and sacrifice, and we are to be without blemish. Now, look at Ephesians 5, 25 through 27. It says, husbands, love your wives as the Messiah loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by God's word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and what? So God is looking for a bride without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. What does that mean? The church never tells anybody what that means. What are the spots? The New Testament tells you what spots are, and nobody can remember it. The New Testament tells you, well, every, the blemishes are in the Old Testament. So let's take a look at the 12 blemishes in Leviticus 21, uh, 16 through 22. You can see on the screen, the first two is what was mentioned in Malachi. Uh, the sacrifice or the priest could not be blind or lame, have a flat nose, what in the world? Oh, we're going to talk about a flat nose. Uh, anything superfluous, if they were, had a broken foot, but guess what? When the broken foot got healed, they could go back and minister. A broken hand, if they were, oh, that's supposed to be an A between the C and the K, a hunchback, or if they were a midget, a, if they had a blemish in their eye. Remember talking about a blemish in the eye, a beam in the eye? Okay. <clears throat> if they had scurvy, if they were scabbed or if they had their stones broken. What in the world does all of this mean? I don't have time to go over all of it, but this is one of my favorite teachings. So let's take a look at Leviticus 21, 19 through 21. It mentions all of those uh, things. And then about the third line from the bottom, it says, no man that has a blemish of the seed of Aaron, the priest shall come near to offer the offerings that the Lord made by fire. He has a blemish. He's not to come near to offer the bread of his God, but he can still eat the bread. He just can't offer the bread. Some of this, God is being kind. Can you imagine a little midget having to carry this big old lamb up to the altar? Or how would you like to be blind and you're walking among the fires of the altar and trying to throw a sacrifice on it? So some of these, God is being merciful to the person that has to blemish. It's not being judgmental. So let's take a look. And again, he's talking about priests. Here in Revelation, we have a church that has blind eyes. What? Look at this. Revelation 3, 17 and 18. Because you say I'm rich and increased with goods, have need of nothing, you don't know you're wretched, miserable, poor, and blind, and naked. I counsel you to buy me gold tried in the fire that you may be rich, white raiment that you may be clothed, that the shame of your nakedness does not appear. Anoint your eyes with eye salve that you can see. This is speaking to a church that is blind. They have a blemish. The blemish is they can't see the forest through the trees. What causes blindness? We know, you know, there's different things that cause physical blindness, but now we're talking spiritual blindness. What causes spiritual blindness? Well, let's see. First John 2, 9 through 11. He that says he's in the light, but he hates his brother is in darkness till now. He that loves his brother abides in the light. There is no occasion of stumbling. He that hates his brother is in darkness, walks in darkness, doesn't know where he's going because that darkness has blinded his eyes. If we hate other people in our hearts, we are spiritually blind. Okay, do you know the scripture talks about your mind being blinded? It talks about your heart being blinded. There's all kinds of blindness.